Hey guys! So, in this video we're going to talk a little bit about WebAssembly and how it's going to affect you, or rather how I think things are going to start affecting you. So let's get into it. You see, the thing, you have to kind of really try at this point in web not to know that WebAssembly is this big hype thing and it's a, a lot of people are very excited about it. And if you don't know what it is, it's basically a, a format that allows you to compile or use compiled languages to write a let's just call it a binary executable or a binary file that you can then load into your browser in a standard format and then you can run your native code in the browser that's yeah that's i would say that's a very high level explanation of what it is so now you can write your you can compile down your c programs and run them in the browser Awesome. So, the reason why people are getting excited about this is because you know, well, it's, there's many different reasons. I think that the, some people get excited about the performance aspect, some people get excited about being able to write system level language code or system, system levels code for the browser and so forth and have that executed as any code what, and so forth. Now, the thing is that a lot of people are also talking about whether or not this is going to actually affect JavaScript. And it's going to affect JavaScript. That's already, uh, most likely it's going to affect JavaScript anyhow, anyhow. But not in the way that you may think. You see, some people are afraid that you're going to see JavaScript disappear or that WebAssembly is going to intrude on JavaScript and kind of is, you know, the classic one is always, oh, is A going to replace B? And in this case, in case is WebAssembly going to replace JavaScript? No, it's not but it's going to affect your workflow. Most people will say that it's going to be something that's going to be an element within your own workflow. Now, I'm a little bit more skeptical than that because what I think is a little bit different from what I think most people are considering when it comes to WebAssembly, or rather, I think that people are they're a little bit on the hype train still. It's a little bit optimistic to say that we're going to see a drastic change in the way that web work is being done through WebAssembly. And the reason why I think that is because it is the same sort of issue that you've had with previous technologies where the, the mental use case that you have for it is sold from one perspective and people are getting excited about that one use case but they don't consider the common case. Now, WebAssembly's popularity kind of came from the fact that you have an ability now to in essence create like I think remember the first demo that they showed at the concept level was a mass like an incredibly beautiful 3D 3D game being run in the browser now that got a lot of people excited because 3D is a good, that's a good point if you ever want to sell something use graphics 3D animations all that good stuff in a two dimensional world like the browser that's usually a very popular thing and I think the same thing happened here. Now, that means that there's a generation of people now, or rather there's a wave of people thinking that that's going to be the, 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 the use case for WebAssembly. And to a point, it's going to be a use case for the WebAssembly. But if you really think about it, how big is the market? I mean, ask yourself, if you're working professionally, how often is it that you use 3D animations in the browser? What type of practical use case do you actually see for 3D animations in regular old programming? Do you think that just because WebAssembly comes, becomes a thing that you're going to see a massive wave of us all rewriting our web page? Do you think Facebook is going to rewrite their whole system in WebAssembly or things of that nature? No, I don't think so. I do think, however, that we will see a, a wave. And this is the, probably the thing that's, that's kind of what I think at least. This is the thing that's going to most likely happen for you and me, the regular programmers, not games programmers, not people who are already in the domain where this, this sort of graphics heavy computation is really, really popular or really necessary. For us, I think we're going to see a performance increase in our tooling. Most likely libraries such as D3 and so forth are going to most, it's my guess, is going to start leveraging WebAssembly. I also think that you're going to see Webpack tools of that nature start using WebAssembly and I also think that your plugins your widgets I think that more of our libraries are going to see 
a migration over to WebAssembly. And the reason why I think this is going to happen is because, not because it doesn't make sense, because I do, I do think that it makes sense. Having more optimized performance code that you can compile and then you can be trusted that it's going to run on any system, that's a good thing. But the reason why I don't think it's going to affect your personal workflow or you're going to have to for be forced to learn something like Rust or C or C++ if you don't already know these languages is because the, the, the use case for everyday software developers who are not out to build a library or build something very specific or very high quality is not that strong, I would argue. It is not that many programmers out there in the world who are building a games, develop, a online game development tool or a 3D game or building some type of high performance library or something of that nature. It's very, I would even go as far as to say that it's a very rare use case that you have the sort of website or web application that requires the sort of performance or the sort of the perceived performance because it is perceived performance because the web is just not flat better at everything that that it takes on it it's it has a very specific sort of use case that is very strong so what i think is that the hype about WebAssembly at this point in time does not stand in proportion to what is actually going to be the end results. I think that it's going to be a big deal in a certain part of our community, but for you and me, it's going to, going to start out most likely with it just being used under the hood. And then my guess is that the next iteration or the next step is going to be something off the on the lines where you have library providers or library creators who make something very accessible. I actually think that the potential for us seeing something that is like React or Angular for WebAssembly is actually very high. I do believe I, that's that's probably my guess. That's probably the when WebAssembly is going to take off for real is when somebody creates something like React or Angular for WebAssembly, where you can make like in a very accessible way create these beautiful either 3D animations or 3D experiences or so forth. That's my guess, because as it stands today, I think that the distance for people is a little bit long still. Most web developers are not system levels programmers. Most of the web developers are not the sort of people who are like, and as I said, it's not as accessible as JavaScript is today. And the use case for a regular day web developer is not as strong as it is for somebody who is already in the domain where they need this sort of heavy computation. As I said, most of us don't actually work on Webpack. Most of us don't have a need to generate source maps or some other heavy, com heavy computation. So what I'm basically saying here is that I think that WebAssembly is coming. It is going to most likely become something that is be is going to be part of your everyday life. But I don't think I think it's too early for you as a regular old like myself web developer to start thinking about saddling, like resaddling, and becoming a master of WebAssembly because I don't think that's going to be a good investment. Not at least as it stands today. Because before that even becomes an option, somebody has to prove. The WebAssembly is not just for this little niche part of web application development. It has to be more generic than that. It has to have a strong use case in everyday programming. Have a great day. Have a great day.